So here we are, it's quarter final draw day. Let's get going. We've got the option of who have we got? Aston Villa, Newcastle, Barcelona, Paris Saint Germain, United, us, Napoli, and Real Madrid. So Napoli take on Newcastle. Pro Vichelli. Who would we want out of that lot? Probably Villa or Barca, maybe. And we've got Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. So we're going to have to beat one of the best. So, now we're here. Let's draw the semi-final as well. Out of the lot, we probably want Barca or Villa. And we get Napoli or Newcastle. So, I'll see you in a second when we're ready to take on the might of Real Madrid. In the heart of northern Italy lies a town steeped in footballing history. Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Hello and welcome back to the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Since you were last with me and the Champions League round of 16, we beat Regina 4-0 with Nero getting a brace, Keone and Min getting our goals before brushing aside Palmer 7-0. Nero getting a brace, Urkel, Zhao, Costa, an own goal and Beaky getting a goal there, and then beat Lazio 3-0 with Lala, Costa and Beaky on the score sheet, meaning today we face Real Madrid in the Champions League. we got the first leg and the second leg. Um, and as far as the league goes, we are top of the league by nine points now, having started to pull away from Inter, who were right with us, probably up until about a month or so ago. And I think they started dropping points. Yeah, sort of February, they dropped six, and then they dropped, um, sorry, three, and then they dropped another three to Napoli. So that's when they really fell off and became nine points behind us we're also in the semi-final of the coppa italia so we could be on for all of the trophies this year but the team to face real madrid is Giroud in goal alejandro viding a hein and keone at the back hoven urkel in midfield with Vinny lala and nero behind costa up top so let's go. I have also been in the process of signing some younger talent um, during the, well, I know the transfer window is closed, but um, because of the one, like the new batch of people coming into clubs. I've had a little look through and got a couple of 17-year-olds, 16-year-old that I'm purchasing from other clubs. Um, of course, they're not going to play just yet, but we want to build, keep our youth system going. Um, and in the summer, we'll probably sell a bunch that haven't quite made it, but probably get a decent chunk of money to rebalance the books um although oddly we're not as in debt as uh 
I once thought we could be or we once were. Alejandro puts it in the back of the net to make it 1-0. I think the um, as far as the debt goes, um, probably will just about be in the red come the end of the season, but selling players last season really has helped balance the books and it seems like we're not overly in trouble. Oof. Nero is down. Is he all right? He seems to be. He's waiting to come back on the pitch as Vinny takes the corner. Lala's going to pick it up to Keone. And the highlight ends with a one -nip. So we're 1-0 up, and we are actually dominating them at the moment. Look at the stats over here. They've had one shot now, which hasn't been on target. And Vinny steps over this free kick. I don't know what he's, Urkel's doing there. He wasn't looking. There we go. Alejandro! What a goal! Great free kick there, straight off the training ground, you've got to say. Let's have another look at this. Vinny lines up as if he's going to shoot, but doesn't. Just passes it to Alejandro, who flicks it out, turns, shoots, goal. Caught the Real Madrid back line well unexpectedly. English speak good. Phrasing. Anyway, um, here's Costa. What can Costa do? Loses out, but Vinny regains it. Can Vinny find a ball into the centre? Plays it back to Alejandro. There's Lala, whose shot's deflected, and Real Madrid are on the counter. And Talaxi, great challenge, great running back from Urkel there to brush him off, and they've got a corner now. Rigo, Jao Rigo, plays it back to Laporte. Oh, that's off the crossbar. Lala's got the ball now, though. What can Lala do? Plays it back to Nero, who's, again, bored down. They don't seem to know what to do with him. We are still dominating Real Madrid on match stats, but... It is a little bit worrying that they've got another highlight here. But we've intercepted and Vinny's three. Vinny plays it to Nero. Urkel, Keone, can he find a ball in? Urkel's just over the bar. Oh my days, he should have done better. They've got a... We've been playing some excellent football and I think... The issue that I have is um, knowing when this save is going to end now because <laughs> we're sort of holding back for FM, aren't we? 25. Um, so we will have to wait and see. Oh, it's cleared away. And worryingly, they came back into it a little bit later on. Excuse me. I'll just be one second. And for chasing the product. And that's why we are a little bit suspicious. So we have put this order on hold and we have called you to cancel the order. So in order to cancel the order, you will receive one time cancellation code which is going to be help you to stop the order right so you like to be confirm the order or you like to be cancel the order cancel please sorry cancel please okay so in order to cancel the order you will receive one time cancellation code which is going to be help you to stop the order. So you just check your normal text message on your phone right now. Have you received it? 
one time cancellation code. Right. So I will receive a message from Amazon at the moment. You just take your normal text message on your phone. So we go ahead and stop the order. Check. Uh, I haven't got anything, no. No, no, you have to just wait. You will receive it at the moment, sir. And there will be a verification number which is going to be help you to verify your Amazon account and cancel the order. So now you just check your normal text message. Have you received a message from Amazon? So this, this uh, OTP number, one-time pass number, that's uh share with don't share with anyone we will never ask for it over the phone or by text correct correct sir so going to verify verify your amazon account sir and cancel the order sir right so apart from amazon sir do not share anyone sir no it Which says but it says, do not share with anyone, and we will never ask for it over the phone. Correct, correct, sir. Because it is security region, sir. It's going to be advertisement to you, sir. Okay? okay. Um, we have sent you... I've just got one question. I've got one question for you quickly, mate. Um, please, please uh, stay with me on this one. Do you have, have you got family? What, sir? Have you got a family? What do you mean, sir? You are talking to me. You're talking with Amazon. Yeah, I'm just. I'm asking. Do you do you have a family? Do you have mother and father? Okay, that. Uh, I was hoping he would uh, talk to me. I was going to ask him if he um, if he if he told his parents what he actually did for a living. <laughs> anyway, um, let's let's continue that. I just thought that'd be a little intermission. Um, <laughs> I thought it was a scam call when I got it. That's why I paused. But I just wanted to make sure. Um, and they send you a you get a message actually from Amazon. They've got hold of your email address, so they try and log in. Um, use your email address and then um, from that they uh, oh, they um, try and create a new password so you, they say you've forgotten your password and then you get a one-time passcode um, for your Amazon um, but what they're failing to realize is on the message it states we will never contact you we will never do this so a little bit worried that they seem to have got my phone number and email address but i th i did delete everything so they won't have passwords or anything and that's like an obvious thing that they won't have passwords because they're trying to reset accounts so basically they just go in and put if they get hold of your email address put in your email Costa has pumped it home to make it 3-0. But it, it's one of the worst scams scams going, really. It's so fucking obvious. It's so obvious. Um, but, yeah. Oh, Real Madrid have pulled one back. So, yeah, we'll, that, that will stay in the video um if you're a bit confused that was a random phone call from a random thing and they've clearly got your phone number and email address um because somewhere you've been leaked um i've got a company that deals with all that so i've probably just been on one of these leaks but um it will disappear and also um most of my big things i've changed my email address over for so amazon i haven't but uh i don't store any debit or credit cards on my amazon so 
doesn't matter if they get that because they can't do anything with it. Costa. Anything I've got banking information stored with. All um, my email addresses has recently changed um, because um, of data leak. And uh, yeah, so I changed over my email address. Um, and anything, like I say, anything with banking details is now on my new one. So yeah, you're sadly not going to. But I was hoping you'd have a little chat with me. I was hoping I could... Uh, but they're clearly just after um, emails. And unfortunately, they're spoofing um, people's numbers. So what I might do is call that number back and just let them know what's going on so that they're aware so that when they get weird calls... Um, if that phone number's in use, when they get strange calls, uh, they'll know what it's about. We're just making a change to waste a bit of time. We're four two up, and it looks as though this leg, hopefully, is all over, but that was poor. Um, while we're doing that, we're going to bring Nero off for Bond House. Uh, Vinny can come off for Maradona. So we're just making a few changes. Hopefully that'll be it. They've definitely come into the game more in this second half, though. So it is something we're going to have to watch out for um, during the next leg. Oh, that was lucky. What? I thought, oh, okay, apparently it came off us. I don't quite know how, but that's over the crossbar. And a goal kick, and hopefully that means the end of the game with four minutes to go. And we've won the first leg 4-2. It's not a massive win. They've got a chance. I'll see you after the Juventus game for the second leg. So here we go for the second leg against Real Madrid. And we start with Giroud in goal. Alejandro Viding and Heiden and Keone at the back. Lala and Hove in midfield with Vinny, Nero and Biki behind Costa up top. If you're wondering, Zhao is currently out with a lower back stress fracture. So he's out for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, sorry. That's why he's not playing. Costa's playing up top for a change. Um... And, yeah, let's go. We've got two goal advantage going into this game. What would be nice is for a nothing game, really. And as part of this nothing game, we are going to open... A couple of packs of cards. And this will probably be the last pack for a little while. We've got Joe Gomez. We have Talkowski for Everton. We have the Emirates Stadium. I do like the stadium cards this year. We have Dragnison for Spurs. We've got Big Cam Burgess for Town. We have a Mavropanos Powerhouse card. We have a... Oh, they're nice, they are. Kuna 
card their ice card it's like a bluey green card and the brentford logo i think we've got a few of them so nothing has happened during that half which is exactly what we wanted we are just going to keep things going as they are at the moment in the hope that things will improve and while we're doing that we will open a couple of special packs here first of all we've got our history maker sergio aguero card we've already got the general one and it is the general history maker card which is pretty cool but we do have that next we have a invincible limited edition card sorry and for this one we have the limited edition Sven Botman for Newcastle which is quite cool um, let me check. so we're supposed to get one limited edition one history maker and a golden baller or an invincible card and we do have an invincible card this season. Not a golden baller. But Real Madrid do have a penalty. And it's out. It's, it's hit the bar. Wow. And we have got that invincible card. And that looks absolutely beautiful. Really happy with that. That's cool. That is very cool, that invincible card. Although I did hoping for a golden baller, but unfortunately we didn't get one. So what are the odds on the invincible cards then? So there's three parallels to find. I should have a look, shouldn't I, and see what the odds are on an invincible card while we're pretending that nothing's happening so golden ballers slash invincible so the invincible card is number five So there's only one invincible card. But what are the odds of getting one across all series? Okay. So I don't think it gives me the odds, unfortunately, of it. But yeah, that, that that's cool. We've got the invincible card now. So that's another golden baller slash invincible card we do have some packs which i probably will open off camera and at some point i will give you a heads up on to how we're getting on in the collection um we will go through the pages maybe what we do is a little series on uh, each team so we'll go through the team, seeing who we've got, who we haven't got. I will turn the green screen off when we do that. But for this game, we have managed to keep Real Madrid very much at bay. He says, oh, and they've still not put it on target. We've managed to keep them under bay, at bay, and boys and girls, that is a victory. And who are we going on to face? It looks like we are facing Napoli in the semi-final, which we go back 
to the schedule, we've uh, what? Oh, by the way, we beat Juventus three two. I forgot to say, but Napoli, we've beaten them six one at home. Did we play them away already? We played them in the league phase and drew, and we lost 1-0 away. So, in theory, that's 6-2 over two legs. And boys and girls, that is when we come back tomorrow, is for the Napoli games. But if you've enjoyed that, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I've been the Masked Manager, and until next time, I have spoken.